Hello, I'm Mark. Yes, I'm with the Gary and Mark Show, but I'm also by myself out here in the wilderness because we are in tough times. So I thought with my vast knowledge of outdoor skills, maybe I could help you in this time of need. I mean, I've been to the store several times. Yes, I can't find toilet paper, but I can make do. Look at all the leaves are out now. We'll cover that in a future lesson. But for today, the topic is food, scarce food. I've been to the store, there's food, but it's not necessarily what I wanna eat. So today's lesson, we're gonna talk about finding and preparing roadkill. Yes, there's plenty of it, even in these days. So I hope you'll follow me on this journey. Maybe in a few weeks or a few months, this will just be a bad memory, but these skills will stay with you. So stay tuned, uh, follow the Gary and Mark show for other episodes about various topics, but also check out these videos from me as I help you prepare for whatever might be ahead. Let's go find something to eat. I'm hungry. The first step, of course, is to find the roadkill. So some hints, of course, would be number one, go find the road. Number two, make sure whatever you find is actually dead. That's why it's called roadkill. And if it's not dead, leave it. Let something else eat it, because you don't know what it might do to you when you pick it up. So you go down to your nearest road and you have to look left and right. Sometimes you'll find things right near the edge and sometimes it might be up a few hundred yards or so. It's not much traffic with this pandemic going on. People are staying home and that's why I'm hoping with enough roadkill I can stay, stay put for months at a time if I need be. So you take a look and see what you can see. And then that could be dinner and dessert. You'll need to decide if uh, you want to eat things that are furry or if you want to eat things that are reptile looking. It's completely up to you. It's all edible. So as you get ready to prepare your dinner, you can decide whether you want to put salt and pepper on it, maybe some Tabasco sauce, maybe some ketchup, mayonnaise, whatever you might find in the house that would make it taste just a little bit better. Remember, it's how, up to you how long you want to cook it. I usually cook everything for a couple minutes. That usually works for me, uh, but you might want it to be longer. Again, you want to make sure your roadkill is actually killed, not alive. Okay, nothing worse than getting it halfway home and having it jump out at you. And this thing on my shirt, no, it is not a caterpillar. It is a part of the microphone so that you can hear me on this windy day. So I hope you've enjoyed learning a few things about cooking, roadkill, surviving. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.